Hello out there. Welcome to video two. This one's about letting go or acceptance. In every spiritual or religious arena that I've studied, letting go or acceptance is usually one of the biggest steps you can take to achieving peace of mind. So in Christianity, it's letting go and allowing God's will to happen or leaving it in God's hands. In Buddhism, it is acceptance through impermanence just more of general spirituality terms it's letting go or surrendering to the universe and even in psychology there's something called acceptance commitment therapy that people use to get over phobias or anxiety or depression and the first step in that is acceptance uh, letting go is about accepting the moment as it is as opposed to how you think it should be or how it was. It's really about being in the moment because in this moment is where freedom exists. When we think about our anxiety or our agoraphobia, we can notice that it's very future related. It's what if I have a panic attack? What if something happens? Or it's past related. It's your body recognizing that it's in a similar situation that caused you anxiety in the past. So it brings it back up again in order to try to keep you safe. But it's not related to the now. If you were to take away the future or the past thinking, the anxiety would lose a lot of its uh, power. So being present in the moment is how we find freedom, even in situations which may momentarily cause us anxiety. How do we let go? How do we do that? Well, it starts with accepting that everything is temporary. Everything changes. Our cells change the way you feel. Even our beliefs change. What we're experiencing right now in our agoraphobia, this fear that we have, is going to change. When you're in the middle of anxiety, you feel like you're gonna feel like this forever, like it's this big, solid, scary, permanent thing. But it's not. It's a temporary thing, just like everything else. We also let go of how we believe we're supposed to feel or supposed to react in this situation. What that does, it creates an internal battle. So you have the way you're reacting, and because you haven't accepted it yet, you have on the opposite end how you think you should feel. So right now I'm anxious. I feel anxious, but I shouldn't feel anxious. I should feel calm. You see the battle there? There's this one, and there's this one. And they're just bumping heads. And so what we want to do through acceptance or letting go is get rid of that internal battle. We want to eliminate it by accepting how it is now. The fact of the matter is you are how you're meant to be in this moment. You're perfect. You have everything you need. In fact, I would say that you are stronger because of this. It takes a really strong mind in order to deal with agoraphobia or deal with anxiety. You just don't feel like it because every time you try to do something that is perceived as normal or that you see this person or that person doing without having any issues, you feel less than because you can't. But you don't know what that person or this person is going through. There's nothing wrong with you. Accept how it is now. Accept how it is now. And I think you'll feel better. Letting go also involves acceptance of your thoughts and that your thoughts are merely suggestions. Have you ever been given an opinion by somebody that you didn't ask for and that you didn't agree with? What do you do? You disregard it. Well, that voice, that other voice in your mind is merely that. It's trying to make sense of what's going on in your world. It's trying to give you options. It's trying to keep you safe. So if you tend to be slightly worrisome like I am, it'll do that by coming up with a lot of what if questions but i mistake it as what if that happens yeah that could happen uh oh that's gonna happen i'm gonna stay away from that you see i just perpetuated it instead of saying what if that happens well i take a step back and i look at that thought and i say i don't think that's gonna happen and then i'll accept that i have it and then i'll replace it with something positive so no in fact uh i don't think that's gonna happen I think it's gonna be like this, it's gonna be great. And then I let it go. Which actually brings me to my next point. Acceptance doesn't mean lack of action. Acceptance purely means that instead of fighting yourself or fighting life over how it is right now, you accept how it is right now. And then you move from a place of acceptance onward. Let's say I got anxious about something. Now if I didn't accept it, 
I would cause that internal battle within myself. Ugh. I'm anxious again. Why can't I feel better? What is this about? Now, if I'm anxious about something and I say, all right, I'm anxious about it. It's okay, that's how I feel right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this thing anyway. I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna do some breathing to help calm my body down because it's feeling anxious. You see the difference? One is confrontational. The other one is accepting how it is, but realizing that it'll change and that I can do something to change it from here on out and then moving towards that. One thing that I started to do is visualize something that would make me anxious. <laughs> the newest one was being on an airplane. One of my goals is to fly again. And so I went to a place uh, where you can actually take a 30 minute flight in one of those little Cessna airplanes. And I noticed that, that my mind kept saying, what if you have a panic attack in the airplane? Can't get out of an airplane. What if you have a panic attack in an airplane? Can't get out of an airplane. So what I've been doing is I'll close my eyes and I'll visualize myself back at the airport or in an airplane and that will automatically bring up some type of anxious feelings. Now here's where the acceptance and the letting go comes in. I then observe how I feel. I'll scan my body and I'll see where the energy is. It could be in my arms, it could be in my stomach, it could be in my head and just observe it like I was observing a sunset or a bird. I'm watching it without saying, uh oh, I feel this way, uh oh, I feel that way. I'm accepting it. And then I let go and I move on to another part of my body. This helps us to be able to sit with those uncomfortable feelings that we have. It's a way of desensitization. Um, it's a way of being comfortable, being uncomfortable we can get used to it and not be afraid of it through practicing just observing it then we have even more power more tools in our toolbox to work with uh, within our situation I think it's really helpful to visualize the things that make you anxious and to get used to those feelings and then combine it with the other thing replace the thoughts that are negative with thoughts that are positive about the experience the way you want to feel and then move on and I think doing those two things uh, will help you find peace in your journey